How's it going guys? Braddock here, Kayak Adventures 2.0. We're at the Nueces River in George West, Texas. Fishing for some white bass. All right, so we got the Torquedo on the back. So I got Tim Piercy's steering system coming in. Uh, I got his mounting plate in the back as well so I can mount the micro spike. Uh, but here we are, Nueces River 2024. Uh, first time I've been out here in almost five plus years since I joined the military. Um, we had an awful, awful drought this past summer. So water level is pretty low. So I'm not sure how much of this motor I'm gonna be using. But uh, nonetheless, let's go find us some white bass here in the Oasis River. Check it out. All right, number dose. There it is, little white bass, Oasis River. Let's go ahead and let her go, find us some more. I found that a lot of your females will come around February time and you start to get a lot of those bigger fish and those are all females. That right there was a male, you can tell because he jizzed all over my kayak once he got in the boat. Uh, so hopefully we can kind of weed out a lot of those males and uh, find a couple females. Oh, we had a double on. First keeper of the day, put it on the stringer. There you go. That's a little guy. Gosh. All males, every single one of them. When I told you this lure catches everything, it catches everything. And I'm literally right by the boat ramp. That is too cool. Look at that guy, man. It's pretty chunky. Not super long. He's got some fat on him, man. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's go ahead and let her go. Catch you next time. Heck yeah. All right, so we're getting all loaded up here. Got the kayak back on the trailer. We're gonna head over to 59 Highway, hit the bridge. There's a ramp right underneath. We're gonna try that out. See if we can't find some more white bass. Trolling got our first fish on. That right there. It's a nice wise bass. Nice. That is what we're looking for. Better solid fish there. Still think that's a mel. Kind of hard to tell. It's not jizzing all over me. But uh looks like a keeper to me. Throw it on the stringer. Found the honey hole. So basically all I'm doing is I'm just trolling this river and if I get hooked up, I power pull down, throw out a couple casts, see if I can't find. That right there was the first cast in this area right after put, picking up that one keeper. So pretty small, we'll let this guy go. Got another one, decent size by that structure. There you go. Threw over by that debris over there. As soon as it hit the water, it got hammered. Nice. All right, there we go. And we're getting there. Another. It's a blast. So much fun. All right. Right on, man. Pretty good day on the water. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That we're gonna go ahead and keep. A lot of smaller ones, but. You know, again, another month or so, we'll start seeing those females come in. But a lot of males, pretty good size quality fish. Let's go ahead and talk tackle. All right, guys, so like I was saying before, this past summer was an awful, awful drought. I went up airport road, uh, went up river, and sure enough, didn't get but maybe a quarter mile, just because of how shallow it is. And I came over to 59, obviously a little bit deeper water, Went again up river and did pretty good. We started off trolling the river. Every time we'd get hook up, power pole down, throw a cup of casts, catch a few more in that area, and then keep going. Tackle of the day, TTF spec rig. This is the 
trout assassin. So typically what I do is I buy maybe three, four, five rigs just in case I get hooked up to the bottom and break off. And once those bass, and especially trout, if you're fishing salt water, once they start tearing up these little soft plastics, I'll buy like a bag of 20, 50, 100, two or three inch soft plastics and just replace them during the trip once they start to get all torn up. And we're running that on a spinning reel, medium heavy action rod with 20 pound braid. And the reason why I like 20 pound braid is that if you get stuck again on a log, you could basically pull that log to you and untangle yourself. Or in this case, having kayak, go ahead and kayak over there and unhook yourself. Some of the other gear we're messing with today, we got the Hobie PA-14. We're running the Torquedo on the back with the power pole micro anchor. And we got that mounted to the Tim Piercy's PA-14 Hobie mount. Well guys, we had an awesome time out here at Nueces River fishing for a white bass. Again, it has been five years since I fished this river. So what an awesome time to get out here and tear them up. Hopefully in the next month or so, we'll start seeing a lot more of those females and get some big quality, nice size white bass. I'm Braddock from Kayak Adventures 2.0. We'll see you on the water.